Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of No DQ and A video right here on NoDQ.com and the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for checking out the video today. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Got a lot of questions here from spring.me slash Aaron Rift. So let's get started with the first one today from DJ Birdie Booster. Hey Aaron, I would love to see one more match between CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, even if it's not at WrestleMania. And if they do, I would love to see a stipulation match such as an I quit match or a submission match. Your thoughts, respect from Scotland. Well, I think if you're going to do CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan again, I think you're best off having it at WrestleMania so the two of them can go out there and steal the show and have a match that people will remember for years to come. If they do have a WrestleMania match, I don't think it's necessary for them to have a stipulation I think it would be best to do a WrestleMania match and then follow it up with a stipulation at Extreme Rules. Maybe you could have an I Quit or Submission match. I would love to see perhaps maybe even an Iron Man match between the two of them. Not at WrestleMania, obviously, but on, on one of the uh, B pay-per-views, Extreme Rules or Over the Limit, whatever they have after WrestleMania. That would be a great opportunity to uh, let them go out and uh, have a have a big match on pay-per-view and uh, just let them go out there and and, uh, and wrestle and do do what they do best. So, you know, I, I'd, I'd love to see just a straight-up match at WrestleMania and then an Iron Man match at the next pay-per-view. I think that that would be a, a, a great thing for the two of them and uh, would let them be able to steal the spotlight and, uh, and make the Internet fans happy. All right, this next one comes from David Draper 10. Hey, Aaron, first-time asker. You hear Jim Ross mention the it factor in young superstars for having a lot of potential. Out of all three S.H.I.E.L.D. members, who do you think will have the biggest career and the it in terms of potential? Who would be WWE Champion first? I think I've talked about this before, but since the S.H.I.E.L.D. has been around for a full year now, I think it's a good time to take a look at this topic again and look towards the future. I think that all three guys have a lot of potential in WWE to make it far. All three of them bring something to the table. When you look at promo abilities, I think you have to go with Dean Ambrose. When you look at the in-ring abilities and uh, just being good technically in the ring, I think that Seth Rollins is the strongest of the three. And uh, when it comes down to size and uh, the look, obviously you have to go with Roman Reigns. Now, who will be the biggest star in the long run. I mean, all three of them together with all those attributes, I mean, it's something spectacular. Um, and I think all three will do well on their own as well. But as far as who's going to go the furthest, um, WWE puts more of an emphasis on the look and uh, being able to talk more than the wrestling ability. So I, I think Seth Rollins is the least likely of the three. Um, if I had to pick one, I would say... Uh, Roman Reigns is the guy that will have the most potential to be WWE champion and maybe even carry the company one day and, and be the next flagship. I mean, he has the size, the look, the physical presence, and uh, you know that's a top priority for WWE. And he has the Samoan heritage as well. So, you know, I would go with Roman Reigns and uh, maybe Dean Ambrose. I mean, his his mic skills are strong enough that. He, he should be a major superstar for years to come. And uh, as long as Seth Rollins keeps going out there and uh, having great matches, I, I think that um, you know he'll, he'll still be a major player in WWE. So you know all three of them should do very well in the years to come. All right, this one comes from N. Rosen 1. Hey, man, like your show. When do you think we will see the Dudley boys back in WWE for one last title run before they retire? To be perfectly honest with you, I don't see them coming back and having another run. Um, you know, WWE is continuing to focus on new talent and uh, pushing new superstars. I could see the Dudley Boys maybe coming back for one night only. Uh, something similar to when uh, the Road Warriors came back for one night um, prior to Hawk's death. I could see something like that happening, but... Um, and maybe a Hall of Fame induction for the Dudley Boys. I mean, that's definitely a possibility. But as far as them coming back as regulars, um, to be honest, I, I, I don't see it happening. Um, you know, there's a lot of great teams like the Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, Dudley Boys, so on and so forth. Um, you know, WWE is not going to bring all of them back and, and uh, 
have them in the spotlight. But certainly a one-time appearance, um, I would not rule out, and, and very well could happen down the line. All right, this one comes from Sticky B. Hey, Aaron, I've been following AJ Styles and him starting to defend the title when around. What time do you see him returning to TNA? Well, if TNA is going to do this right, he should definitely not be returning um, for the rest of the year at least. Um, I think the best way to go would be to crown the new TNA champion maybe at the January pay-per-view and then bring back AJ Styles and start building up uh, to a champion versus champion match at the lockdown pay-per-view in March or April, whenever it is. Um, I think lockdown is a target date for AJ Styles returning and having the big unification match and wrapping up the angle. I, I think that that's uh, the most likely possibility. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's perfect timing-wise. I think that's the best way to go. Um, so that's what I'm expecting at this point. I I really don't see them dragging it out um, to, like, Slammiversary, for instance. I mean, they could, but... I, I think it's more likely that we'll we'll see the blow off and then the big match at lockdown. All right, this one comes from anti PG fan. Hey Aaron, love your show. Please answer in video if you have the guts. All right. Besides stop watching, what is the most effective way to show disapproval to WWE's PG rating? Well, pretty much what you're doing, asking questions and maybe going on the internet and complaining about it. But honestly, there's not really much you can do. Um, really the only thing you can do is stop watching. I mean, WWE has their formula and um, they're doing things their own way and uh, they're doing what they feel is best for their business. Um, and being PG is good for them in terms of sponsorships and uh, having deals with various companies. So, you know, they're not going to change their ways. There, there's no need for them to push the envelope and... Uh, alienate sponsors there, there's just no need it's not like the Monday Night Wars when they had to uh, take risks in order to survive now you know they they're basically a monopoly they're in control and they can do whatever they want and um, you know they're not gonna listen to the fans if, if the fans are unhappy about the PG rating there's not a whole lot that you can do you can create all the online petitions you want but it, it's not gonna uh, change the way WWE runs their business all right, this one comes from WraithWolf007. Do you think 3MB will disband in the near future? Talk about a faction that's been around way too long. Well, I hope for their sakes that 3MB doesn't break up in the near future because I, I think that that's a main reason why the three of them have been getting TV time because they're a faction. I think if you split them up, uh, all three guys are in a lot of trouble, especially Heath Slater and um, Jinder Mahal. I think that they would be in a lot of trouble if 3MB was to break up. Uh, maybe Drew McIntyre would, would get a renewed push because there's a lot of people that think he should be in a better spot. Um, but yeah, I mean, 3MB has a role right now. They're the punching bags for the baby faces. We get to see Los Matadors beat them up every week on TV. So, you know, 3MB has their role. And, um, you know, I don't know if WWE is going to disband them anytime soon. I mean, they, they have a spot right now where they can go out there and have the six-man tag team matches with a tag team that WWE is actually pushing. So, you know, it's, it's a good situation for them because they, at least they're getting the TV time. And, you know, any TV time is good, even if you're doing the job. All right, that'll wrap it up for this edition of No dq a Video. Trying to reach 40,000 subscribers by January 1st. So... Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com slash nodqcaw. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter. Share the channel. Post a link to the channel on your social media site and uh, tell a friend about Nodi Q&A video. And uh, before I get going here, I'm going to get to the last question from WrestlingDo95. When do you see Sheamus returning to WWE? Um, I think the target date right now is for Sheamus to return at the Royal Rumble. Um, maybe he'll be a surprise entrant or maybe they'll hype him up in advance. Um, honestly, I think it's best to uh, announce his return in advance and maybe do the uh, video packages of him rehabbing and uh, getting back into shape. Um, I mean, there's other guys you can bring in as a surprise, maybe some of the old timers, you know, the road dogs and the godfathers, you know, those kind of guys I think are best as surprises. But uh, for a big name like Seamus, I think it's best to... Uh, hype up his return for the Royal Rumble and um, 
you know, especially if you're going to do something big with him at WrestleMania, you want to make a big deal out of it. And, uh, you know, he's been gone for a while now, so I, I, I think it would, uh, it would be nice to have those videos hyping him up. And, you know, I could, I could kind of see like a repeat of Triple H's comeback at the 2002 Raw Rumble. And, you know, they were showing all the videos of him rehabbing and, you know, Sheamus and Triple H are buddies. So, you know, I could see a very similar angle with Sheamus. I don't know if it'll be effective as uh, Triple H's comeback, but it, it should work fairly well. I mean, Sheamus um, has had a good run in WWE. I know some people aren't the biggest fan of his, but, you know, he he's a... Uh, He's a really solid performer, and I, I think uh, he'll do well when he comes back. So, you know, Sheamus coming back, Royal Rumble, sounds like a, like a good possibility. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for more No DQ&A video.